hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG news my name is Mkholi Singube I'm back with an update just a brief update based on the question that has been asked by members of the Zimbabwean community who have had a rumor and they want to confirm if this rumor is true uh, on the ongoing negotiations between Zimbabwe and South Africa pertaining to the Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, applications and renewal or non-renewal of the permits. Uh, before I go ahead, please subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. That's a plea from us so that when we continue to give you updates which we are going to be giving you on a daily basis or maybe twice a day uh, at some points depending on the number of questions that people are asking and based on the fact that we are only left with four months before uh, the permits that you hold uh, zep permits right that is uh, expire uh, after the grace period that was given which is 12 months so the question that uh, we've been getting uh, for the past 24 hours is, is it true that uh, there are still ongoing negotiations between the Zimbabwean government and South African government and what has been uh, realized uh, from those uh, ongoing negotiations? Yes, uh, from what we are getting uh, as journalists is that uh, the Zimbabwean government back home has confirmed and some... Uh, insiders within the South African government have also confirmed that there are indeed uh, ongoing negotiations and they are saying that the negotiations did not stop. They have been going on at party to party level between SANU-PF and, and uh, ANC and also between government uh, and government that is Zimbabwean government and the South African government. So there is no indication as yet uh, on what that is going to uh, come up with uh, or what is going to be uh, resolved uh, by those uh, talks but we are hoping that uh, at the end of the day whatever is going to be agreed will be mutually beneficial to both countries because we know that uh, South Africa and Zimbabwe share a border we know that they share a history and it is imperative for that history to be maintained. It is imperative for that uh, relationship to be maintained. But also, it cannot be maintained uh, at the expense uh, of the citizens of either of the two countries. We know that South Africa has got its own problems. Zimbabwe has got its own problems. But at the end of the day, our wish is that when all is said and done, Zimbabweans will be able to live happily in their own country, and South Africans will be lived uh, happy to live. I mean, will be able to live happily in their own country. But also, that interactions between the two nations will continue. Interactions between citizens of the two nations will continue, and that uh, travel will be in a controlled manner. Uh, be. Uh, also uh, mutually beneficial to both countries and that there will be free travel of both uh, people and uh, goods. The, 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 that is what we hope is going to happen. So we are also hearing that there will be a, a meeting which was agreed uh, by the Binational Commission uh, earlier this month uh, of the two uh, countries' ministries of Home Affairs to try and uh, amicably resolve the issue around documentation, but not only documentation, uh, immigration as well, because, as we have said, it has to be controlled. The illegal uh, crossing of borders, we hope, is going to be resolved by a better uh, process or a better agreement between the two countries so that is what we have had uh, it is true that there are ongoing negotiations according to our sources and it is also true that there is going to be a meeting uh, sometime in october that will be two months before the expiry of the zimbabwe exemption permit and we hope that at the end of the day whatever is going to be resolved resolved will be for the mutual benefit of both uh, states and also both citizenry thank you very much